Hi, this is a demonstration of Android based universal uh, ticketing system. So this is a advanced system that uh, allows the user to create just one account and from that one account he can uh, uh, he can use it for uh, local train tickets he can use it to you know cash local train tickets as well as uh, he can book uh, train and bus passes right from his android phone so this system uh, makes it very easy for the user to uh, book train tickets as well as uh, to book train and bus passes using his android phone and there's also a tc based app here through which uh, the user can or the ticket collector can check the validity of user's ticket by just entering his id so here the there's no room for uh, you know physical tickets so using this system the ticket collector or the tc can also check the validity of a ticket so the user uh, does not need to have a physical ticket he just uh, gets a number the ticket or pass number when he books that particular uh, ticket or pass and when the a tc needs to check his uh, validity he just needs to uh, check his own account and check the number for that particular ticket or pass and once he gives it to the tc the tc can enter that particular number in his application and then check the validity and he can also check if it is the same user in the system that it is the same user and not anyone else is using his part pass or ticket so let's see how the system works So this is my home screen of the application. It contains uh, two options of login and register. So let's click on register. So it generates an uh, ID for me and it cannot be changed. And then I have to uh, enter details like full name, phone number, email ID and password and select the type of user. And after I provide all these details, I can access this uh, application. But I already have an user ID and the password. So I will just log in with that ID and my password. So after I click on login, it shows me the dashboard for uh, for the user. And uh, this is uh, my name, user. And we have options of uh, train ticket, train pass, bus pass, add balance, uh, details and logout. So you can just click on train ticket. So it will uh, show you all the details to book a train ticket. So this is the line type entered by the admin you can enter any line and any details in that particular field so this is all uh, my stations in that particular line so you can see that the rupees over there has uh, changed to 36 and the submit button has been visible so let's change uh, destination to Virar and you can see that it changed to 27 and if I click on submit and yet has been done successfully so my ticket has been booked so and now rupees was uh, 54 after i click on it into the return next is train pass module it's just the same way where you have to select uh, the pass type of that particular uh, uh, pass so if I want to say just get to we are again and you can see that the amount so you can see that the amount was uh, changed uh, on every action of the user so you can see over here that it shows insufficient balance as uh, I don't have that much balance so now let's uh, book a pass and here's my ID and it shows the balance amount is 176 uh, so now you can see over here so now you can see over here that uh, in this uh, section it, show, uh, it, it shows all your passes and the train tickets and the, and the balance uh, so this is my valid IDs so if I go in bus pass it will show you the balance first and again the line type which was entered by the admin and you can select the section as so you can select the from and to and the type of uh, pass but if uh, no buses are going to through that route it will show you no buses found 
and if uh, if buses are available it will show you the amount so you can see over here so again I will just uh, go to the right bus route and it will show me the rupees of that particular bus route and if I select yearly it will again check for my balance and if it's low balance it will give me an error message so let's uh, book this uh, bus pass and you can see that uh, my pass was booked so you can just uh, go in details again and have a look on your valid passes and you can see that this uh, 5001 has been added to your valid passes section and then you can even add the pass uh, add the balance uh, to your account by just providing the details so you have to provide a 16 digit credit card number 3 digit CVV number and the uh, month and year of uh, expiry and the name on the card and the amount how much uh, you want to add it's uh, just a dummy credit card uh, payment option so if you just submit your balance would be updated successfully and if you now go in details uh, it will show you that the uh, balance is 100 as we added 44 and previously it was 56 so this is uh, all the modules uh, in the user dashboard so this is the ticket checker app so this will be the ticket checker uh, login where every ticket checker will have its personal login and its password so this is the ticket checker uh, uh, app where he can just check the tickets of the user if he catches them you can select the type of the tier of the ticket which you want to check so train pass bus pass or anything and he will just uh, enter the ticket id and the user id of that particular owner and you can see that it shows the details of uh, its name from location to location and the date expiry date so if i click on this as uh, there is no 5002 in the name of uh, uh, user id 1001 it won't show the details and now for 5001 it will show me the details so name line type from to and the expiry date so if i go and train ticket same way you just have to enter the ticket id and you will see it shows invalid ticket so this is my right id and it will show you the name line, uh, line type from station to station and all so same way for the pass you just have to enter the correct details and if it shows this data the ticket is valid and if it shows invalid id or password invalid id or ticket id uh, the user has been you so this is how the ticket checker uh, app works just select the line type enter the details and click on search and it will show you the details so let's see the admin module now how the admin module works so this is the admin module where admin has its own separate ID and the password so it's id password and then it's a login so this is the dashboard where you can just add the ticket checkers add balance add trains add new buses update train details update uh, bus details and the view ticket checker details and the view user so let's just start with add ticket checker so this is the automated generated id for that uh, ticket checker you just have to enter the details of uh, the ticket checker like, like name phone number email id address etc then uh, you can add balance of the particular user from here also where you can just uh, search the balance and it will show you the balance and you have to enter the new or the amount which you want to add 
next we have is add train so you have to enter the train line so you can just uh, enter the train line uh, but we already added this so we'll add uh, arbor one and you can just uh, enter the station name by separated by commas so you can just enter a number of stations over there and then you have to enter the cost for that uh, particular train so you can just enter cost for uh, daily transport for monthly passes quarterly passes and yearly pass per station cost it is so if you say submit that uh, station would be that the train would be added same way for bus you just have to enter the line type bus number So the line type, let's say BSG, uh, I will keep it, keep it as A as I already added a, a line. So this is my bus number and the route of that particular bus. So you can just enter all the stops of that particular bus and same way you have to enter the first stop price uh, for that particular uh, bus. So monthly, quarterly and yearly price and I will say submit. So this will add a new bus uh, to my system. So if you go in update train, it will show details of that uh, line and you can just click on update to update the details. So this is my new line which I added. So if I go and search harbor, it will show me all these details and I can just click on update. I can just click on update and this will show me the screen to update the details of that uh, line. So you can even change the amount or you can change the station, you can add the station. If you want to add the station in between the current station, you can even do that thing. So next uh, we have is uh, bus update model where you can just uh, same way search for bus type and look for the bus numbers. So this is my bus type and this is my bus numbers and the stations. So you can same way click on update and if you want to delete them you can even delete them so that uh, line was deleted. If you go and search, uh, let's, let me refresh the thing. So let's say line type, and you can see that uh, uh, the bus which I added recently was been deleted. So next is view ticket checker module. So this is the details of the ticket checker and the view user module. It's uh, just the details of that particular user and its uh, balance. So this is how the system works, thank you.